The Borderlands Project is a project to create a sustainable Northern Territory literary journal. It's a collection of stories by writers and poets and essayists. The journal would focus on paying authors. So we're looking at a whole range of funding options. To get this project off the ground. Anyone who's interested in the product and has some, some money to invest will be fronting. Almost it was as if my steps had strayed into some strange old land or unknown isle, where time itself with drowsy hand had stayed the shadow on the dial. Borderlands has been a huge success. We're so pleased to see how many people invested, how many people saw the need for us to have a voice in the Territory from Territorians about the Territory. The project's going great, so thanks to overwhelming community support, we reached our fundraising target, so thank you so much to all of our donors. It really means a lot to us. And we are now in phase two of the project and creating our online pilot edition, which will be out in October with a print pilot to follow in early 2020. We were overwhelmed with um, over 120 submissions, which included um, visual art, uh, digital storytelling, prison poetry. We found that there's this really nice balance between some famous award-winning authors from the Northern Territory that are being published, as well as some emerging writers that are really showing their potential. We are a growing team and I have had expressions from students who would love to do an internship with us. We think it's really important that students are able to get involved with industry, to build a portfolio, to show the work they can do to the world. So uh, we're working with an excellent third year student, Han. Hi, my name is Han. I'm a communication student at Charles Darwin University. And she's developing some great practical skills working with us um, on the magazine. So the beauty of being a communication student at Charles Darwin University is not only because of what I get to learn at the campus, but also the opportunities that the school provides through their partnerships like Borderlands Magazine. Borderlands provides a collaborative space, a place that students can start to tell their stories, but they also become part of the industry as we make sure that people are paid through Borderlands for the work that they do. So what my internship means is coming from from a marketing and design perspective. For example, I am working on an ad to publish into the Westerly publication to attract consumers to read Borderlands magazine. We're also really excited to share that we've created a partnership with Westerly magazine from the University of Western Australia and they will be publishing six Northern Territory writers in their November print edition, which means that Northern Territory writers will be more widely read throughout Australia. The tag for the magazine is where ideas and identities meet and we really feel that the submissions that we've had for our Westerly and, and Pilot uh, online edition is a great arrangement of uh, and reflections of where ideas and identities meet. Um, if people would still like to contribute to Borderlands, we're still accepting donations through our Patreon page. So if you go to borderlands.cdu.edu.au, you can find all the details there. The Northern Territory really needs a literary magazine. We haven't had one for over 20 years. We have some wonderful authors and artists. We really do need to be part of a national discourse around politics, society, imagination. This is what the Northern Territory magazine, Borderlands, can offer readers everywhere. Yeah.